In-market audiences are still a good option for your YouTube campaigns if you're trying to reach users in research mode actively looking for specific products or services. But sometimes you might find out that those in-market audiences are still too broad for your specific business. That is where custom intent audiences for YouTube can really come in to help. Custom intent audiences are available for both display and YouTube campaigns, but there's one major difference for YouTube campaigns that makes this a very valuable asset for your video campaign targeting. I'm going to read this quote straight from Google itself. Custom intent audiences can help you reach new customers on YouTube based on the terms they use to search for your products or services on Google.com. That's right, we can now go after users with our video campaigns based off of the search terms they look for on Google.com. I'm going to show you a few of my favorite custom intent audiences to create for my YouTube campaigns. First, consider going after converting search queries. Think about it. If you have great performing search campaigns and you have a list of search terms that have converted in the past, don't you want to get more of these users? Export your converting search queries and create an audience for them so you can go after potentially new users who also are looking for these specific products or services. Next audience I would want to create are your converting keywords. And yes, your converting keywords are totally different than your converting search terms. We have seen the degradation of match types within the past year. So no, the keyword that you are targeting isn't always necessarily the search term the user typed into Google.com. These two audiences are most likely going to perform completely different, so separate them out and test both of them. This next option might not apply to all businesses, but if you have a brick and mortar location, try breaking out your localized terms into a separate custom intent audience. A user who wants to buy something online is going to be totally different than a user who wants to walk in your store and physically see and potentially hold your product. Try breaking out your near me or specific location terms into its own custom intent audience. For all the e-commerce accounts out there, head over to the e-commerce or product reports within Google Analytics. Look at which products are either driving the most top line sales or giving you the most revenue. If you want to try to reach more users who are going to buy these products, create a custom intent audience based off of which products are driving the most business in your accounts. Let's stick within Google Analytics, but this time we want to head to the site search report. We can get information on what users are searching for when they are on your website or landing page. Look at these search terms. These users are actively looking for these specific products at that moment when they are on your website. Look at this example. We see some seasonality in here with ice fishing, ice auger. We need a new car battery in wintertime. So this gives me an option to test a new audience and potentially change my video content to speak to that seasonality and try to get more users during this specific time of year. Now before you head over to your audience manager and start creating custom intent audiences, there are three things you need to keep in mind. First is that Google recommends adding at least 50 keywords for better accuracy. I have personally found this to be the case not necessarily for accuracy, but just to get some sort of decent volume. Second, sensitive keywords serve contextually or may not get served at all. If you work in any industry like medical or you potentially sell controversial products like guns that may not be able to advertise or do remarketing, most likely you're not going to be able to create these custom intent audiences either. And last, and I think is the most important one, all keywords that you use within a custom intent audience are treated as pure broad match. Now I know everyone freaks out when they hear the word broad match, but we should embrace it for these custom intent audiences. If you just add 50 exact match keywords, you're not going to get a lot of volume to really promote your video. Embrace broad match here and try to expand your reach to get a new audience who is interested in buying your products or your services. I only had enough time to show you a few of my favorite options of custom intent audiences to create for your video campaigns. There is no right or wrong option here. You have the ability to create any custom audience you want that's going to benefit your account. So head over to the audience manager, start testing out a variety, and see if you can reach a new audience that is very specific to your business goals. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos. 